Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about shoes that you should not sleep on. So if you guys do wanna get any of these shoes, I try to leave them in the field link in the description box. But let's get it started right off with the Anta KT7. So the KT7 is an amazing shoe. It is a little bit on the expensive side, especially for Anta, it's 150 bucks. But the traction is solid. The cushion is also really nice. You know, the stepping comfort is amazing. Although it's super caged and like the actual midsole doesn't compress that much, you have a nice compression underneath your foot, which I like. And you have a crazy offset. Like the heel is very, very high if you guys like that. Materials is super thin and the shoe overall is supportive. One shoe that I'm super excited about is the KT7 Low. Right, uh, it's, a, it's a low version of the KT7, which I would prefer just because I like to play in lows more than like mid tops or high tops. And also the material has changed. It's a very, it looks like a super nice cozy knit, like a knit like your grandma would make for you for the sweaters and stuff. Um, so I'm super excited about that. It's $5 cheaper than the KT7, which is, I mean, they're, uh, remember the KT4 low and the KT5 low? The KT6 low was pretty nice, but the KT4 and KT5 low were, were amazing and they were super cheap as well so I, I definitely does suck that they're increasing the price but i uh, don't sleep on it it's an amazing shoe and if you want a different shoe than like i don't know like the main brands like nike adidas under armor then uh it's, it's a great shoe and it's clay thompson so if you're a fan of clay thompson then i guess you guys uh go ahead and get it right all right next is one of my personal favorites right i absolutely love playing in the shoe it's a shoe that I, that's in my rotation super heavily right and it is the leaning way of wade d-low ice so yeah super long name it's actually d'angelo russell's signature shoe with leaning or i guess way of wade it's only a hundred bucks which is super cheap uh but it is a freaking amazing shoe the only thing i don't like about it is the cushion and it's not terrible, it's just that uh, if you're looking for impact protection or you're older and your knees hurt or whatever, your feet hurt and you need a little, like better impact protection than normal, then don't get the D-Low Ice. But if that's not super important to you and you want a shoe that's really, really responsive, lightweight, supportive, and, and everything that you want in a great basketball shoe, the D-Low Ice has it, right? So traction is top tier. Uh, you're low to the ground, it's super responsive, support is good. Materials feel great, it's a textile material. It kind of reminds me of like Jacquard, right? And uh, it's, it's thin, it conforms to your foot very well, and for a hundred bucks, it's a great quality material as well. It fits me perfectly, and also it's a great looking shoe. The colorways that have come out look great as well, so uh, the D-Lo Ice definitely do not sleep on it. It's an, it's an amazing shoe. All right, next is the Adidas Harden Volume 6. So surprisingly, I've been seeing a lot, well not a lot, but a couple of Harden Volume 5s here and there. I'm, and I'm like, yo, how are you playing in those? I mean, like, it's not terrible. You can definitely ball in them, but it's like, you have so many better options in my opinion, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, the Harden Volume 6, I have not seen anybody playing in them. And uh, I feel like, you know, Hardens have kind of not been super popular lately. You know, remember when the Harden Volume 1 came out? Everyone had a Harden Volume 1. The 2, 3, and I, not maybe not the 2. I don't remember seeing a whole lot of 2s, but the 3 and the 4 were super popular. I, I remember seeing a lot of pairs of those as well. And the 5 kind of like fell off. And the 6, I haven't really seen any. It might be like James Harden as a player. I feel like maybe um, people don't like him. I don't, I don't know what it is. But anyways... Uh, the Harden Volume 6 is an amazing shoe. The traction is top tier, right? It was in the top traction video. Cushion also is super nice. Full length boost, you're very, very low to the ground, uh, but you also have great step and comfort, right? You feel the boost right underneath your foot. Uh, Adidas actually made the strobe board really, really soft, especially in the heel. So that feels really nice. Impact protection is really good for how low to the ground you are. Materials, I would say, it's not the it's not the most minimal feeling material, but it's very very supportive and like it gets soft. You know, once you break it in, it gets like on the softer side of things. But overall, it's super supportive shoe as well. As far as the weight goes, it's not the best for weight though. It's like 14, 15 ounces if I remember correctly. So if you're looking for a light shoe, then it's not the shoe to get. But it, weight isn't wasn't a huge deal for me just because it was a really responsive shoe. Uh, so the Harden Volume Six definitely do not sleep on them. And next we got the Jordan Zoom Separate. So it's like a cheaper shoe and it's kind of like a 
team model Jordan Chu as well. And I feel like it's more like under the radar, but the zoom separate has phenomenal performance. I really like playing in it. Uh, so first of all, the traction is also top, top tier. <laughs> really, really good traction. Uh, and cushion also is like a really good blend of everything, right? So you got good court feel, you got good bounce. It's not too much like zoom struggle or anything. Uh, you got a, a nice top loaded zoom in, in the forefoot. You get a lot of compression in the heel actually. And also uh, you have crazy good and very, very smooth heel to toe transition. Also, I really like uh, the shape in the forefoot. Right? It's a very curved shape and it helps me. I don't know what it is with the shoe. Maybe it's like super curved or something, but when I play in it, it really keeps me on my toes. And I especially notice it when I'm shooting threes and like, it just really keeps me on my toes. especially comparing it to like more flatter outsoles, like Adidas, for example. Uh, it doesn't keep me on my toes as much. You know, it's, I'm more like flat footed when I'm shooting, which uh, you kind of want to be on your toes when you're shooting, right? So I also like that as well. Materials feel great, you know, especially in the toe box. It's a stretchier type of material. And also it's supportive where it needs to be supportive. I feel like most people will enjoy it. You know, if you're a guard, you're looking for a great responsive lightweight chew, but also with good cushioning, it's a great chew. And if you're a bigger guy that needs support, but also a little bit of cushion, it's also a great option. All right, next we have another Jordan shoe and that is the Jordan one take three. So I don't know what it is. I, I didn't want to put it on this list just because I thought maybe it might be super popular just because when Nike releases a color or they only released two colorways and they're both sold out, <laughs> you know what I mean? So the black colorway that I have that sold out and then they released a white colorway that, ha that has like red accents, which looks awesome by the way, that sold out very quickly as well. So I don't know if the demand is high or Nike's just giving us really low quantity of the shoe, uh, but it's a hundred bucks and yeah, don't sleep on it. It's a great looking shoe and it performs extremely well. It's also super lightweight and the material is really, really thin. It actually surprised me a lot. Cushion also feels very similar to the Zoom Separate, uh, although the orientation of the four foot zoom in is, is perpendicular to each other. Also, the foam is a little bit stiffer than the zoom separate in the heel, but is it like a sleeper? I don't I don't know. I feel like it, it might be popular just because it does sell out. But like I said, I don't know. And last but not least, we got the Anta GH3. So uh, it's Gordon Hayward's signature shoe. Uh, traction is freaking phenomenal on a clean court. It picks up a little bit of dust, however, but uh, it's a pretty easy wipe. Cushion also is nice. You know, you have nice compression in the heel. Material, although it's not like the textile material that we got in the GH2, it's more of like a synthetic material, but it's thin and also it's a super supportive shoe. And I absolutely love that strap design that they have going on with the tongue that kind of like connects to the straps that go on the side of the shoe. And once you tighten that down, you definitely feel very secure. You feel like the top of, like, like the tongue tightening on top of your foot, which secures your foot in. It feels great for lockdowns. It's, gr it's a very supportive shoe as well. It looks great too. So uh, the GH3 is a solid performer and you definitely shouldn't sleep on it. But anyways, that about wraps it up for this video. Uh, am I missing any shoes? If I am, tell uh, tell me down in the comment section below. But anyways, if you guys do want to get any of these shoes, I try to leave an affiliate link in the description box. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.